Let's review. On this edition of Sonography in Seconds, we'll explore the differences between axillary and intramammary lymph nodes on ultrasound. Intramammary lymph nodes. Remember that intra means within, so these are lymph nodes within the breast. They are small, usually less than 10 millimeters. They're oval or they're round and they're circumscribed. They have a hypoechoic thin outer cortex, a hyperechoic fatty central hilum, a hilar blood flow pattern, and this means that we visualize the flow entering the hilum and or visualize flow around the periphery of the hilum. The fatty hilum can be hard to visualize sometimes because it blends into the hyperechoic glandular tissue. And so sometimes we can't find intramammary lymph nodes because of this. The fatty hilum blends into the fat and they're obscured on the ultrasound. Intramammary lymph nodes can mimic the appearance of a solid mass because sometimes the fatty hilum can be hard to appreciate on the ultrasound. The axillary lymph nodes are really variable in size, um, although they're usually less than two centimeters in size, but more importantly than their size are the features. Like other lymph nodes, we want them to be oval, circumscribed. It's okay if they're round when they're small in size. We wanna see a nice, bright, hyperechoic fatty hilum, a hilar blood flow pattern, and a thin hypoechoic outer cortex. And sometimes with the axillary lymph nodes, it's very hard to appreciate that thin hypoechoic outer cortex because the hilum either goes all the way to the edge of the cortex and you can't see it at all, or it's a, just a very thin rim of that outer hypoechoic cortex.